Well, good morning, everyone. It's a real honor to be here with you today. A mayor of the capital city, I hope you find your visit to our state energizing, inspiring, and enjoyable. As some of you may have noticed, our natural environment makes Utah very unique. We are lucky to have some of the most stunning landscapes on earth located right here in Utah. This includes the mountains that are right outside these doors. Many people choose to live in Salt Lake City like I did and surround themselves with a community that is um, truly spectacular. The people here are driven by the challenges that we face and we honor this great outdoor playground that we get to play with. But with growth comes challenges. Cities must tackle head on if we are going to continue to thrive. And that's why Salt Lake City, sustainability is a core part of everything we do. As the capital city, we are obligated to lead on this front. It's about balancing economic growth and the well-being of our society with the health of our environment, today, tomorrow, and beyond. Sustainability means making sure we're doing everything through the lens of equity, ensuring a fair distribution of resources and opportunities to all people in our city. Sustainability also encompasses resiliency, making sure we are developing infrastructure and food systems water networks, and energy so sources that can withstand natural disasters and reduce man-made stressors. Finally, sustainability is a holistic framework for the overall success of our community. It's not an afterthought. It is a mission. It is our priority, and it is a value of ours a value that is relevant of all communities as we jointly look into the challenge of this century and beyond. Salt Lake City has been a leader on sustainability for over a decade, but substantial progress has been made in the last two years, and it's been an exciting time for me and my team to help pave the path forward. Today, I will focus on our renewable energy, climate, and air quality work. As some of you may know, air quality is one of our biggest local environmental problems. Each year, we breathe in extreme air pollution, both in the winter and in the summer, when Utah exceeds federal health standards. And each year, we also learn of new research that links particulate pollution with a greater number of diseases, from Alzheimer's to depression to autism to infertility and to cardiovascular conditions. It is clear we must take action to protect people and our health. So yes, Utah is a wonderful place to live, but yes, we have work to do. So sustainability and economic growth are intertwined. Thankfully, there are a number of ways local governments can take action and address our pollution. One is to pass an ordinance. The second way is to take action, to lead, for example. It is our responsibility as stewards of the community's resources to walk our talk. This includes how we design and maintain our municipal buildings, the types of vehicles in our city's fleet, and how we promote positive sustainability behaviors with our employees. Salt Lake City is doing all those things, which also helps us save money. We now have over 200 alternative vehicles, alternative fueled vehicles in our fleet. In 2017, we installed solar panels on seven facilities, including five fire stations. We also are completing the construction of two net zero fire stations. These will be the second and third fire stations in this entire country to have that designation. When those are complete, we'll have 16 total government structures with solar on site 
including one megawatt solar farm. But more must be done. Climate change is also a significant driver of Salt Lake City's sustainability work. Utah is warming at twice the global rate. The effects the wa ha it has on us include our water, the air we breathe, and our ability to thrive as a city served by Utah's $1.3 billion ski industry. While many of the strategies we are implementing to reduce local pollution also reduce carbon emissions, we must do more. I signed a joint resolution with the City Council to lay out several ambitious climate goals. The first goal is to power half of our municipal and electricity needs with renewable energy by 2020, and we're on track to meet that goal. The next objective is to construct enough renewable energy projects to power 100% of our community's electricity needs with wind, solar, and geothermal resources by 2032. And finally, we are working to reduce our community's overall carbon footprint by 80% by 2040. While fossil fuels helped grow our state, and we thank them for that, they are a resource of the past. They warm our climate and cause damage to our landscapes and our lungs. Just as importantly, they're losing on economics. Renewable energy is the fuel of not only the future, but of the present. The economics of wind and solar to, are outpacing the growth in all other fuel types. So moving toward renewable energy is the right thing to do, not only from the environmental and societal perspective, but for the economic reasons. 